It's MK, and I am back with another Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. This is the sketch by Crafty Maggie that I will be trying to recreate. I'm also combining this with our last year's color craze combination that we started, but this time we're only doing color craze every other day. So I have picked out a couple bits and pieces from Pear Tree. I absolutely love her acrylic and felt and cork and all the things. Then I have a bunch of cut files. So I've got some corals and bubbles from one cut file um, that I offered last year. Um, it is no longer available. Then I have this other cut file that is actually supposed to be pine needles, but I'm gonna turn them into seaweed. Um, I'm not gonna use all of these, I just picked them all out. I also will plan on painting all of these with some watercolor brushes. I do pick out two other colors as well before um, just deciding on that one color. And then this isn't seaside memories, but I want the memories and the two little starfish. So I'm gonna try to alter that. I have this um, double stacked hexagon that I created last year as well. And then this cool hexagon, um, I don't know, uh, seashell wreath, I guess, or a frame, one of the two. Then I have several photos. So um, three of these photos are gonna become flip flaps. I'm not gonna do them uh, because it's just matting them on more paper and then putting them in sleeves and adding them to my page protector. So I'm just gonna work with these three photos today. And then this is the paper that I picked out that almost represents the sketch beautifully minus the square frame. I really, really liked this. And it matches beautifully with my color palette um, from Color Craze. I also pulled in this Vicki Booten foundation. Um, it's all, it's like a pre-made foundation paper. I did not make this, uh, she did, and put it all in a book. Um, I struggle using these because it just doesn't seem like I ever have any photos to go with her colors. Plus, I have found out over the years that I don't really work with a lot of bright colors. I really work with um, the more earth tone colors. Uh, so I'm going to struggle, but I'm, I'm just going to use an excuse to use these. And this was perfect. Did I cover most of it up? Yes, I did. But I like the effect that it created um, for my for my photo mats, even though you can't hardly see any of it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the ocean icons from this hexagon frame. And what I was looking for is just a third hexagon for my double stacked, because my double stacked was not big enough to go around the entire layout like in the sketch. And so I really needed that third one to make it look like it was bigger. So that's all I'm gonna do right there is just stack up my hexagons and then put my photos on top and that's really what's gonna hold it down. Then I'm going to cut apart my um, Seaside Memories uh, branding strip that I had. I think it was from a 49 and Market branding strip, by the way. I cut off the word Seaside, it's gonna say Memories and then I'll bring in the rest of my title later. later. But right now I'm going to go in super speed mode and actually color in all of these um, seaweed. And at first I was just going to color them in this moss color, but because they were cut out on the Cricut, they all have those little lips on the side. So I had to constantly keep going back and forth, back and forth to get the color I wanted. And I really wasn't liking how the color was laying down. It was too blotchy for me. So when I start on this one here, um, I, I, I do the same thing, it's like, oh, it'll dry fine, it'll be okay, but the one up at the top is already drying, and I'm watching it, coloring, watching it, coloring. It's not blending, it's not, you know, fading, The the it's drying exactly the way it looks, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So um, I'm, I'm just finishing this off, um, and when I get to my larger one, this one right here, and I start to paint, this one was a pill, you guys. Like, I gotta tell you, no fun to color whatsoever. So this is when I decide I'm gonna go get some other colors um, because of the fact that I just really don't like how this is looking. I really don't. <clears throat> so give me a minute. Here I go. I'll be back, I promise. <laughs> and I went and got two shimmer pins. Uh, I decided on shimmer pins. A, I love, oh, I got three. Um, <laughs> A, I absolutely love the fact that they shimmer on top of 
um, you know, like in the water, they make it look like it's in the water. Um, and B, I really love the colors, the close to my heart colors. I wish they would come out with alcohol markers in their ink colors because they, they do have really good greens and browns, um, in my opinion, and some blues too. They, I, I, yeah, they I love their sapphire. Um, that's the best navy ish closest color, um, next to, um, cracked sapphire from Tim Holtz. It's, they're beautiful together. They work they were gorgeous. Anyways, not coloring blue here, but I should have. Uh, so I'm going back and I decided that I'm just going to squeeze. I'm going to paint and squeeze because I am so tired of trying to get all those crevices that I make a big old huge mess on my desk. And so when I am almost finished um, painting and squeezing and painting and squeezing, just going as fast as I can, uh, you know, doesn't matter if I'm getting full coverage or not. Um, I end up with quite a good ink pile uh, right underneath my cut file. And so this is when I decide, you know what, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go ahead and blend these colors and then smush my smush my um, seaweed inside and get beautiful, beautiful blended effects. And I mean, this was so pretty. I should have started at the beginning. Seriously, I really like this effect. Now, um, on the left, you can see where it all got really shimmery, um, and and uh, where the when you squeeze out, uh, I know two different conversations going on here. When you squeeze out the uh, shimmer brush too fast, you get a big old blob of the shimmer um, because it wasn't it didn't have time to mix with the actual ink that was in there. So, just to let you know that that's what that shimmer was. So here's the rest of my title. I'm going to pull off, uh, I love, absolutely love these navy um, alphas from Thickers. They're uh, puffy stickers, and I'm just going to do fishy. And so it's going to be fishy memories. This was a walk that my son and I did around the marina. Um, he's actually helping me stay on track because sometimes um, my, my job, not job, becomes so involved. Like I just get so focused on what I'm doing. I don't actually realize that I haven't moved all day because I'm sitting behind a computer or I am standing, um, you know, trying to make a layout, that sort of thing. And so he comes in and just basically tells me it is time to go for a walk, mom, you know? And so we went for a walk. This is about six o'clock in the morning. No, it's early. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's six because of this, how, how sunny it is. Um, but normally we go right at sun, uh, right at sunrise. Um, we go around the, uh, around because we actually get to see, um, the ducks eating, the fish eating, the, um, the pelicans haven't left for the day yet, just all that good stuff. And so this one, we happened to see all the carp right up at the top. And I was taking, we stopped and took pictures, um, especially where they were mostly concentrated and you can see all their fins, like sharks poke out of the water and whatnot. Um, and then the picture down below and the one that's going to flip flap on top of it um, are, uh, is like pulled back and all the carp in that one area. It's like I had no idea there was that much fish in that little, in that little lake that we uh, live next to. So I'm going to add a few little bubbles in between all of my corals. Like I said, I had no intention of actually using all of the corals but I love the extra added greenery on top and behind the hexagon um, mixed in with the printed greenery, um, which is actually bluery. Is, is that the word? Um, <laughs> but I like the fact that uh, the one up at the top kind of curves around with my hexagon. So I really liked that one. I could have added a third one up there, but I really wanted, I would have ended up covering up the blue one. I could have made some of my... Um, seaweed into blue, but I didn't. I avoided the blue because this paper itself had a lot of blue already on it. Um, to be honest, it, it definitely had the blue, so I didn't feel like I needed to add any more blue. Um, I love the brown frame around it because it matches that bottom photo as well because, um, you know, our greenery is brownery. Um, so anyways, finishing off with a sprinkling of stars. I've got one more star that I wanted to put on there just so that way I have an uneven number. Um, I just think that that's a little bit more appealing than trying to do three and three, uh, because then you end up with six. It's, it's just a weird thing to me. And that is it. That is what I'm going to be doing for today. I just love all those fish poking out. It is just crazy. And then of course the flip flaps, um, 
the two at the top will be filled, but the one at the bottom, when you flip it up, will have my journaling, which isn't going to be a whole lot. So it'll probably be decorated as well. Um, just about the morning walk and what we got to see. Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. There is a playlist down below for Christy's Beautiful Life, as well as a Facebook link list um, or a Facebook group link and then there's color craze and there's janet's channel down below as well because she is my partner in crime in this amazing um i don't know duo that we do um with the color craze where we pick a color combination and just scrapbook with it and this time um we're having a an extra help with a prompt of a sketch so anyways thank you again and i will check y'all later bye